In this section, we'll become familiar with the control panel, how to use it, and how to navigate through the menus to get to the key functions. Let's briefly review each component of the control panel. First is the LCD screen, or screen for short. This basically tells you what the plotter is thinking at any given time, or it will display an action that is needed, such as the need to press a certain button. There are two modes that the screen will display. When the cutter is ready to accept a job, it will display ready in the middle. When it's online and operating, it will display processing. The four buttons next to the LCD are the function keys. These allow you to choose certain functions or menu options that are going to be displayed on the LCD. The barcode key will immediately start the barcode scanning process. The pause menu key will pause the cutter's cutting operation and switch the cutter to the menu mode. When the cutter is in the menu mode, the indicator light to the side of the button will illuminate. The arrow keys just below have two functions. The first function is to move the tool head to a new location. The second function is to change values on items displayed in the LCD screen, such as increasing or decreasing a value. When moving the cutting tool or pen to a new location, the tool head will start out at normal speed. Pressing the slow key while pressing the arrow keys will reduce the speed. The condition test key will allow for altering and testing the eight cutting condition presets. The origin key will set a new start point or origin at the tool head's current location. The copy button will make copies of what is currently in the buffer. In other words, it will copy the last job that was sent to the cutter. The escape key, it can also be used to exit or reject certain menu changes. Finally, the enter key is usually pressed after a setting has been altered. Pressing it tells the cutter that you accept the changes. It can also be used for other functions, such as switching conditions. Now that we understand what each item on the control panel is for, let's go over the menu structure and how to navigate through them. If the CE7000 is online and operating, the pause menu key pauses the operation of the CE7000 and displays on the screen a choice of continuing the cutting operation or to quit. When the cutter is in ready mode, pressing the pause menu key will display eight groups of menu functions, tools, arms, area, media, interface, which is represented by the I slash F, advanced, test, and link, which contain barcode and data link options. On the upper left-hand corner of each of these choices is a little number or arrow indicating the button that should be pressed to enter that menu option. For instance, to display the tool menu options, we would press the one key. To display the arms menu options, we would press the two key. To display the data link barcode menu options, we would press the right arrow key, and so on. Let's press the four key to display the media menu options. The screen will display a menu with different options related to media, such as pre-feeding media or setting the page length. Currently, there are four menu options to choose from. Each choice shown in the menu can be accessed by pressing the button shown in black highlight. This indicates that if those keys are pressed, it will access those functions. Notice just above and below the menu options are arrows. This indicates that there are more than four options for the tools menu. In fact, notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a one slash two. This indicates that there are two pages of options and it is displaying the first page of the two pages. If the up or down arrow keys are pressed, the menu will cycle through the different pages of options. Keep in mind that other menu options can have more or less pages of options, so look at the corner to see how many pages are there. As mentioned, to select one of the options, press the number next to the option. For instance, if we wanted to turn on auto prefeed, we would press the two key. This gets us into the auto prefeed menu option. 
Here we can enable the auto prefeed by pressing the one key, followed by the one key again. After that, we can change the feed length by pressing the two key, and then pressing the up or down arrow key to change the prefeed length. To exit this menu, we just press the escape key. And this returns us to the main auto prefeed menu where we can either press the escape key again to reject any changes. In this case, we'll press the enter key to accept the changes, and this will bring us back to the previous media settings menu. To get back to the main menu, press the escape key. Then to return to the default screen, press the pause menu key. When navigating the control panel menu, the key is always look at the screen. It always indicates which buttons to choose to get where you want to go or what you want to do.